subscribe to Film Companion for your film fix. Hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. The beauty of hashtag home is that everyone, irrespective of age, gender, geography, will see a bit of themselves in it. Rojan Thomas's film about one family in Kerala contains universal truths about families everywhere. The fraught relationship between fathers and sons as children become adults and find their own voice. The acts of casual callousness that children, even loving ones, inflict without thinking on their parents. The distance that smartphones, social media and technology have created even in the most tight-knit families. The alienation that parents feel, the way in which mothers are taken for granted and critically the importance of goodness and decency which ultimately trumps fame and success. Three generations of the Oliver Twist family live under one roof. The name comes from the grandfather's fondness for English novels. He also named Oliver's brother Peter Pan and his sister Mary Poppins. Hashtag home is filled with little details like this. In one scene, Oliver is washing his older son Anthony's car. His younger son Charles notices this, but instead of helping, he requests that Oliver also wash his scooter. Anthony and Charles aren't awful neglectful kids. They are just too busy with their own lives and too sure that they're smarter than the folks who raised them. Oliver used to run a video cassette library which was shut down when the technology became obsolete. He now spends much of his time tending to his terrace garden. The boys might have affection for him, but he's definitely not their role model. He seems much too ordinary for that. Charles, played with a nicely comical slacker vibe by Nuslin, is a YouTuber hooked to social media. The older one, Anthony, played by a solid Srinath Bhasi, is a film director who made a hit first film. But two years later, he's still struggling to put together his next project. Sitting in a messy apartment, even his beanbag has holes in it, he is struggling with writer's block. Anthony has the dates of a big star, but he can't come up with a climax for his script. His producer suggests that to find inspiration, he should return to where he wrote his first film, so Anthony moves back home. Much of Hashtag Home is set in a multi-level house where his family lives. In recent Malayalam films, home have been the site for dysfunction and death. Think Joji, Kala, Kurudi. But this film's default mode is a lingering sweetness, much of which comes from Indran's who plays Oliver. His diminutive frame and unassuming manner speak volumes. Oliver isn't an imposing patriarch. He's a timid man with modest dreams who only wants to have a deeper communication with his sons. Indran's plays him with a touch of bumbling affection and charm. Oliver buys a smartphone but can't even figure out how to take a photo. The device only further undermines his authority. In Oliver, Indran somehow combines bruised dignity with good cheer. The film goes overboard in making a case for limiting phone usage. At one point, Oliver starts to see a counsellor who gives this extended lecture on how phone addiction causes alienation and anxiety almost as if the film were a public service announcement. The film also makes a case for seeking help for mental health. We're told it's like cleaning the rooms of your mind. The intention is laudable, but the screenplay, also written by Rojan, inevitably becomes flabby. At 2 hours and 41 minutes, hashtag home is much too long. But these characters and situations are so relatable that you stay with the story. In one scene, Charles is trying to explain how apps work to his father, who's taking notes. The exasperation on Charles's face is something all parents have seen. Or take the mother, Kutiyamma, played by a terrific Manju Pile. She keeps this family together. At one point, she loses her temper and lashes out at the entitled behavior of her sons, asking, Who are you two kings come from heaven? As the mother of grown-up children, I can tell you that at some point, all parents have felt this emotion. Rojan cranks up the emotions, taking the narrative to a climax which will leave you teary-eyed. It's unabashedly manipulative, underlined by soaring music by Rahul Subramanian, but it works. I don't think it's a spoiler to say that everyone lives happily ever after. This isn't a film that could have ended in any other way, but through it, Rojan gives us a definition of home. Hashtag home is simplistic both in narrative and craft and overwrought but it's also a heartwarming celebration of family and the ties that bind us. You can see the film on Amazon Prime Video. For more reviews like this, subscribe to Film Companion. Don't forget to check out our website, filmcompanion.in.